change the day. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you and only you. Yeah. I got one virtual, got one in that day. It's the only two, man. How many times have I shown it through, man? How many nights I've been woke? Swerving the pot holes. Not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes. He thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? Soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? Then when my life exposed, they want to know about the highs and lows. Well, summer, all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's, all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day, I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen Making a change today, the liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kinda like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can Hey, yeah, I got one lawyer, got one in that day. The only two, man. How many times have I told you the truth, man? How many nights I've been woke? Swerving them potholes, not trying to fuck up the wheels or fuck up the deals. I'm posted in stock home. It's me, the house, and the twins. It's only the real. I'm moving way too humble. Easy and handed it off. I still got no fumbles. I'm on a hot 100. Numero uno. This one ain't come with a bundle. I'm in the wind. A million in chocolate chips. And that's your time I cookie crumble. I put a skirt on the whip and a crown on the six, but there's no need to dress up the numbers. Hey, hey. Yeah, but I can see my petty reasons. They wanna know how I'm living my day to day life in the regular season. Well, summer all I did was rest, okay? And we thought I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen. First day of class, first day of senior year. Y'all, it's very loud in here because of the van. I'm in my new apartment and it's just not it but i've been getting a lot of requests about a new makeup tutorial and i can actually tell you guys that i have one on the way i plan on filming a updated makeup tutorial once i have all of my makeup like my full makeup routine down so i'm not sure when that will be because i have other videos that i have for y'all but i will give like a mini makeup tutorial today just because it's been highly requested so i'm not going to be talking but I'm gonna put everything that I use on the screen. Anyways, y'all, it's my first day of class, like senior year. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started. It's actually 11.20. My first class is until two o'clock, but I got up around nine, made some breakfast, you know, like some cute stuff for y'all. That's just what I've been doing, so. Put it into this face. I also put some press on the I'm really excited. I'm also like nervous. I'm always, I always have like this jittery feeling when the semester first starts. I really don't know where it comes from or why. I think I'm just anxious. But once I'm in the groove of the semester, like I'm sure. But it's always like, I'm nervous and I'm anxious. Even just going to the student center or whatever. I think it's because it's like so many people there. Everyone's just dressed. And it's like everyone's stuff for the first day of class. Like the first two weeks of class, but after that, everyone's back in sweat. But, like, getting to be dressed and stuff, like, very nerve-wracking. It's, like, I don't know, everyone here just expects me to, like, like, step, and I'm just, like, I'm trying. Like, my roommate told me the other day, she was, like, um, after rooming with me, like, she flipped, she, she's in the room, like, get dressed, and, like, step. I'm, like, well, what are you even talking about? Like, I feel like I can, I'm not saying, like, I can't dress. I feel like I can dress, but I really want to, like, I'm, I'm not, at my fullest potential yet, like I've been just breaking with what I have and then picking up pieces along the way. I'm like, I don't know, it's just like people are like expecting me to step. It's just like a lot too much pressure. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> I don't, if I want to come to school in sweats in my first day class, I will. Believe me. Well, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So I don't know if you guys can see me because like my camera thing is up. Hopefully you can. I would have to do this full space and y'all can't even see me. Today I'm gonna try to do something not like too too much because it's hot outside. But something that's kinda sad. These little side pieces always come out and I don't like it. Okay, so you guys can actually see me perfectly fine. So I showed you guys the two primers that I used, my face is like Okay. 
anyways, I showed you guys everything. I'm going to show you guys everything. Sorry, I'm really really anxious. I don't want y'all to fall again. So now I'm about to just put my Beyonce and bye bye and do the makeup. It'll be like a little mini makeup tutorial, so you guys will see everything. Anyway, she said, Don't let the 
high, go to waste. Can you taste it? Little taste it. Nova King, baby. So I'm gonna wear those jeans and then I bought this cute little shirt from H&M. It's like classy. It's something I wore like to the office, but I wanted to dress it down a little bit. So I'm also gonna do a TikTok for that real quick. And then I'm gonna show you guys the fit once I put everything on, accessorize it. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna redo my edges, but I really think they look fine. Cause I wrapped it up really good. But that's the fit. And I think I'm gonna be doing silver jewelry, so. Let's get into it. It's about 12.30, I think. I'm doing pretty good on time. But I'm going to iron this, and I'm going to put some lotion and stuff on. And then I'll come back when I accessorize, and put on the perfume and things like that. So, Okay, guys. I ended up doing my edges and putting this little do-rag on. I'm trying to figure out when I put my ring and my cubing bracelet on. I'm trying to figure out what bag I want to carry because I low-key want to bring my iPad. And... My little notebook just to take notes on whatever is discussed um just so i can have it and yeah, just so i can have it for whatever i need for next week but i really want to carry my jack williams bag only because it just matches the fit perfectly but i have to bring dance clothes because i have rehearsal today and it doesn't make sense for me to come back home after to get my clothes Anyway. Actually, hold on. Guys, it's my Remy. I'm her Remy. She gets my nerves. You know what? Mm. I don't appreciate that. Sorry, you don't appreciate the honesty? My apologies. No, I don't. Look at this. Are these my good ones or these? 
My dog's here. Need to that my dog's here. She knew I was leaving, so she just decided to rub herself all over my clothes while I was packing. Which one is this one? The dark one? <laughs> this is the best I got. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna carry this bag and carry my iPad in my arms. Perfume of the day because all my Zara perfume is basically gone. And I want to smell good and I want it to last me all day. Smell like grown woman. Naya doesn't care to hype me up, guys. She's not a real friend. Not today. Oh! <laughs> okay, guys. Oh. Where's the fit? The next day. Good morning, beautiful people. It's actually a couple days later. I'm drinking my kombucha. It's like 10 something, maybe even 11 o'clock a.m. And I got up around 8.30, went back to sleep, and then I got back up around like 9.15ish. But it's a couple days later, guys, and I wanted to check back in with this vlog just because I was editing and I realized I didn't close it out and the video just like stopped. So I'm like, um, that's ghetto. Anyways, y'all can see the wallpaper is done. I'm making you guys a little room tour in a second. My room is still not done yet. I still have like little things that I want to add. But for the most part, she's mostly done. Today is August 28th. And I'm actually, I was doing like a little bit of homework trying to get some stuff out the way. But I'm actually about to get ready to go to class. I have class at 2 o'clock. It's actually 10, 10, 10. But I have class at 2 o'clock. And then I have a meeting today after class. I have two classes. So I have a class at 2 to 2.50. And then I have a class from 3.30 to 4.45. And then I have a meeting in between those classes at 3. And then I have dance rehearsal at 6. So between 4.45 and 6, I'm probably in the student center doing some work. But I've been in a really good mood lately. Besides like me not feeling my hair anymore, like I'm ready to take these braids out. My scalp itches and I'm just over it. But besides that, like I feel very much at peace in my room, in my new apartment and I'm loving it. I've also decided that I'm going to stop being stingy with my content when i say that i mean like i'll record stuff all the time and i just won't post it because i'm i'm a perfectionist when it comes to my content and i'm like if it doesn't give the vibe that i want to give or it doesn't look like the way i want it to look i just won't post it and that's rude <laughs> to y'all because y'all be thinking i'll be going mia and i really don't i just be i mean i do but i don't like i just i be recording i just don't like it but that's unfair to y'all because First of all, let's talk about how I hit 13K. 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 Okay, that's that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. That's, that's a lot of pressure. But you guys subscribe to my channel for a reason. I don't know why. Y'all like me. God led you here. Amen. Hallelujah. But I'm just, I just decided I'm going to stop being stingy with my content. I've been trying to come up with ideas and more content that I want to do for you guys, what you guys like, and obviously you all love the makeup tutorial, so of course you'll be getting another one soon. Probably I'll get ready with me, I'll probably like a makeup tutorial, I don't know. I'll figure it out, but you guys love my makeup videos, so I'll probably do some more of those, but that's not going to be the only thing that I do. I know I have some events coming up this month, well, September. So I'll probably be vlogging those, like the classic game, I'll probably vlog that. I'm going to a concert, and then I'm going to another concert, so. I'm just gonna be vlogging for you guys, and that being sent you with my content, so I'm sorry. That's why I'm dropping this video. Cause otherwise, this probably would've stayed in my camera, taking up storage on my SD card. But I'm gonna drop it. If you're seeing this video, I dropped it. You should be proud of me. I'm done going MIA. I love y'all. Because y'all are definitely, every time I drop, it's like my views are getting lower and lower and lower. Y'all are sick of me. I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. Please forgive me. Anyways, I'm gonna give y'all a quick little tour of my room. So, it's not super, super big, but boom, there's the door, yup. 
And then you walk in to the right is my TV, my kabucha, and my cute little flowers that I got from Trader Joe's. And I got this cute little vase from Ikea. And then this is my dresser. That's my walk-in closet. I'm not going to open it. You don't want to see that. Over there is my desk, my mirror, and of course all my planties. This planty is actually going to go up there on the ceiling, but I haven't ordered the hook for it yet. And then I have my rug. I think this rug is from Home Goods. That mirror over there is from Home Goods. And then my wallpaper is from Amazon. And then here's my bed. Comforter, duvet is from IKEA. Throw blankets from IKEA. Pillows are from my those two decor pillows are from IKEA. The covers are from IKEA. And I think the pillows are from Walmart. And then these are some pictures. I actually printed these out myself. I got the pictures from Pinterest and then I bought some frames and put them in there. But I think I want to get like a LED light strip right here and do like some squiggly lines or something. I don't know, but this is my room. Oops. This is my room. Oh, and I need to get a curtain too, but I love my room, so. Anyways, I thought I'd just come on here and just finish this vlog out. I'm actually about to try to figure out what I'm gonna wear for class, because it's actually really rainy today, and it's cooling off, so it's like 76. It was like 92 yesterday, boy, I was dying. Yeah, it's like 75 right now, cloudy, but it's gonna rain later this afternoon. So, so. Something cute, some comfy. I low key think I just want to wear my cute little joggers. I have these cute little like pocket cargo sweatpants from Zara that I might wear. But I don't know if it's too hot for that or not. But I might wear those with like a cute little matter of fact. I have this cute little like white crop from Zara. However, it does have like pencil writing on it because. I wore this for my photo shoot and I was gonna like do like a inspired shirt and have like my zodiac on it or whatever. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like very, very not too bright. But I might just wear that. And wear like some good accessories in my new balances. But anyways, I think for the rest of this week I will try to get like some clips of like my school because I love the school content even though I'm about to graduate. <laughs> I'm about to graduate. I'm about to graduate. I thought, you know, maybe I'll just vlog. Most likely, I will not get a Geo vlog this week. If anything, y'all probably get like. Yeah, I might get a Geo vlog actually. It just won't be entitled Geo vlog. Something like that. I don't know. We'll see. However, we'll see. Anyways, I am thinking that these braids last me another week. You'll see it. And then next week, I'm going to throw on a wig. I was going to take these out and actually get my hair braided, but I don't feel like paying anybody $200 to get my hair braided because I don't remember the last time I paid to get my hair braided. I've never paid that much. Because usually either my mom does it or I go to my friend Maya. But for this style, I went to a new a new lady and y'all, she ate, y'all know. Um, I'm going to enter the clip real quick of when I actually got my hair done because I got that filmed. <laughs> that was supposed to be another vlog, but. but yeah, like she ate, she ate down on my hair and she only charged me 95, which is not a lot. And then hair was included too, by the way. And then like Maya, when I get my hair done by her or whatever, if I get knotless braids <clears throat> and I want like boho or whatever, I'll go to Maya. If I want just regular knotless braids. I'll go to my mom and my mom will do my hair and she'll eat it up. But if I'm on like boho or anything like that, I'll go to Maya. Maya never charged me on my leg. Like ever. And hair is included. So these braids are here talking about $220. And I gotta bring my own hair. Baby, you're delusional. You're absolutely delusional. Like you're not making any money off of me. Sorry. Sorry. And then it's like you wanna charge that much, but your work does not look that good. Like your braids don't look like braids. They all twisted and flipped and then this piece of hair is up here like no. No, I'm very picky. So that's that. But I'm thinking I'm just going to throw on my good little bob wig and I'm going to curl it up. So yeah, probably will see that in another vlog because I'm actually going to a concert. I think it's next weekend. Or no, it's the weekend after. Yeah, I think it's... Ooh, it's next week. I think. Yeah, it's next... Thursday. We want to concert next Thursday. So, super excited about that. So, I'm definitely going to do my hair. Oh, I don't have class on Monday. 
So I can just do my, I'm just gonna do my hair this weekend, but that's it though. Any of the news? I don't know if I told y'all, but I got my belly button here. I can insert that clip in here too. Are you cursing me? Uh, no, she's the one cursing me, huh? Dang. If it makes you feel better, she's the one that taught me. Okay, that does make me feel better. Okay. Uh, today's the 18th. Yeah, I trained under her, so she's solid. Okay, I trust her then. Good. Months before changing it, clean it two different times a day. Oh. It's so cute. Yeah. Ew, why does it feel like that? I feel like what? Like a pulse? No, it feels like it, like my belly button's in a ponytail. Oh. It's just because it's tight from jewelry being in there. I'm not used to having something in there. Okay, thanks. That was quick. Come here, you're welcome. Bum bum and I'm super 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 excited about that. You know I've been on that for a really really long time, but I don't want to ramble, and I don't know how long this video actually is, so I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Advice of the day is going to be based off of a sermon that I heard yesterday when I went to church, and it's simply you can handle this, okay? You can handle this. So the scripture that the pastor gave us was Ezra chapter 10, verse one through four. You can do this, okay? And one one thing that he said that really stuck with me was like, he basically, the entire story, he was, he was talking about interruptions and how interruptions always cause people to get distracted and it's like, just talking about how like we hate interruptions like we hate when things happen randomly out of nowhere and we have to restart because it's like we're starting from scratch and he was just saying like in order to level up you have to have those interruptions but he was saying that it's important to understand the difference between a divine interruption and a demonic interruption that's when the anointing comes in and even if you know you don't recognize that you have an anointing. The enemy does, which is why he's interrupting if it's a demonic interruption. But 
I have notes here if you want the notes. I recorded the sermon. If you want the sermon, let me know. I can send it to you, no problem. But my advice of today's video is just remember you can handle this. Simple. You can. You can handle it. And you have the power. That's all I got. If you want the rest of the sermon, hit me up and I got you. Sincerely Z. Bye guys. See you guys in the next vloggy vlog.